What's going on guys, Bangalagan here coming back at you with another video and today we are talking about my updated draft class, how to get real rookies in Madden NFL 20. Now there are a number of ways to do this, we're first going to talk about how to actually load it in and then secondly we'll go over the class a little bit. Uh, and the first thing you're going to want to do is load up into your franchise. You need to have scouting on manual that's in the settings area. It's very, very easy. Just make sure the scouting is set to manual. Make sure scout college players can come up. And this doesn't matter what year you are in your franchise. I will note that. That's important. All you need to click if there's no option that where it says auto import or it automatically pops up and gives you a number of options. Do you want to use an auto generated class or import one of your own? You hit L3 which is the left stick on Xbox or PlayStation. And then there are a number of options that come up depending on where you are. And what you're going to want to do, if you haven't already downloaded from the Madden Share, you import your local file and then that'll come up. But if you have not downloaded it already, you click download from Madden Share and up will pop a number of different options. Now, I can't be more clear about this. I said it maybe a million times. There is no class on xbox that i have made none have not done it do not have xbox have no way of doing that uh, i'm not going to make a spreadsheet of every single rating name height weight whatever for somebody to transfer over this has already taken an immeasurable amount of time almost it's upwards of 20 hours for sure which usually when i hear people say something like that, i'm like okay you're bullshitting but no this took me seven hours two days ago just to update so uh a lot has gone into this and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it, but it is the most downloaded file on PS4, so it's very easy to find. It's 2020 NFL Draft Bengal. Of course, uh, you can leave it a like. Uh, and of course, I am Gene Dangus, so that is who made it. Almost 600,000 downloads, so we are uh, we are coming up on, on a lot of downloads there. Hitting a million would be pretty crazy. I assume this is going to hop up uh, a lot after the draft, but yeah, I think this is the best class I've you know, taking a lot of time and effort to ensure that. So you go ahead and you download the file if you have not already. Of course, I already have it. Um, you can save it, or if you already have it, you got to make sure to override it. I do update this th this thing pretty frequently, but you have to update it, or else it's not going to do it automatically. So once you have that in there, uh, this will pop up where you have you know the rankings and the players. I don't want to show the ratings, but what I do want to show first is a message from our sponsor, Manscaped. Help you protect your ball, Zach Moss. Here I was thinking that there's absolutely no way the Lawnmower 2.0 can get any better. Then I talked to my friends over at Manscaped, the sponsors of today's video. They say, hey, Bengal, listen, you're an idiot. And I'm, I'm an idiot. Why? And then they told me about the Lawnmower 3.0, brand new, updated, upgraded, 7,000 RPM motor, built-in LED light. There are so many updates and upgrades to this thing, I can't even list them all. It is just absolutely fantastic. And along with the Lawnmower 3.0 announcement, especially designed for groin grooming, they also have a new perfect package to go along with it. So as a subscriber, you get 20% savings on your order instantaneously. New replacement blade refills, uh, every three months directly to your door and for a limited time subscribers get uh, multiple gifts you get the travel bag which is a $39 value and you get the patented high performance anti-chafing boxer briefs and all you have to do in order to get those and 20% off even more and free shipping on the perfect package and the lawnmower 3.0 is use my new code, which is no longer Bengal20. It is code Bengal. Use code Bengal. Code Bengal to get 20% off and free shipping and two free gifts. Unlimited value when you purchase a new perfect package 3.0 with my code Bengal. Make sure to use it. Thanks to Manscaped again for sponsoring now, of course, the video. When you're watching this, this draft is subject to change. So if there are more players that need to be added to the class, uh, pretty much none should be needed to take out or be taken out at this point because I've already gone through and taken out players. Um, there are some issues that will arise. I know some of you have been unable to download the class, but I'm not a technical guy at EA. I can't help you with that, unfortunately. That kind of is what it is. I could change Jeff Okuda's name to Jeff Okuda instead of Jeffrey. That's probably a change I'll make, but it's small things. Some people have talked about equipment. Draft the players and change the equipment if you want it, man. You got the names, you got the heights, the weights, the attributes, the developments. You should be good to go. If you want to change equipment, 
do it yourself. That's that's all I can really say on that regard. Um, but the rankings are pretty good. Some have had to be changed in order to get a little bit more realistic because wide receivers stay on the board a really, really long time. But this is also an unbelievably stacked wide receiver class. So I guess that's not, you know, unbelievably unexpected. But in the class, in the draft in Madden, wide receivers just tend to stay on the board a little bit longer. We look at quarterback. Uh, it kind of varies quite a bit. Joe Burrow in there, Tua Tungo Vailoa, Justin Herbert, Jordan Love. Uh, I wouldn't really worry too much about their um, round rating because those can vary overall is very people want me to move Jalen Hurts up a lot I mean there's just simply no way that he's going to go in the first round as some people want me to put him like he's not that good because he's not that good that's where he is maybe he'll develop into something but uh, probably not we're going to have him rated here for the time being um, and the reason I'm making a separate video another video from the one that I did at the beginning of the year a lot of changes have happened a lot of players have been added Khalil Tate Cole McDonald um, you know, a lot of players have been have been moved around. Ratings have been changed. There are a lot of draft eligible players, um, even some into the undrafted area for certain positions. Um, of course, Cole McDonald's another guy that people ask for quite a bit. At running back, we have DeAndre Swift, Jonathan Taylor, J.K. Dobbins, Clyde uh, Edwards Hilaire has been added. Uh, I made a bad ball sack joke for Zach Moss. Uh, who else has been added here? Darrington Evans from App State has been added for sure. Again, there are a lot of guys who have been added to this class at wide receiver. It's kind of 1A and 1B with Jerry Judy and CeeDee Lamb. I happen to lean towards Jerry Judy just because I value uh, his athleticism and his ability to create separation, which I think he does at a higher level than CeeDee Lamb, although CeeDee Lamb is arguably better after the catch. Um, tremendous hands as well. I mean, they're both great receivers. You really can't miss with either one of them. Uh, Brandon Ayuk was added more recently. Justin Jefferson was moved up. Uh, Jalen Rager's in here. Brian Edwards was edited and moved up. Same thing with Courtney Davis. Denzel Mims was added. Uh, Tyler Johnson was moved around. A lot of these guys have been either added or moved around. Isaiah Hodgins is in that boat. Van Jefferson as well. Lynn Bowden Jr. was a super highly requested player. And I like him. Just unsure what he's going to do. Probably be a wide receiver type gadget player um, at the next level. Maybe something that uh, you see the Chiefs do with Tyree Kill, but more so like a little bit less of a receiver and uh, more so just a returner and someone that'll take end arounds and and trick plays occasionally and runs out of the backfield but Bowden Jr. quarterback wide receiver running back at Kentucky uh, certainly offers a lot and is a, a really really fun player so I think you guys are going to enjoy him in this class his attributes reflect that so uh, he can pass the ball a little bit he can catch the ball a little bit he can run the ball uh, quite well so he's not a stud receiver but he can kind of do it all. So it might be a really fun player to play with, Tariq Black's in here. Uh, some players may have uh, decided to go back to school, and I haven't taken them out of the class. Uh, that's my mistake. Just leave them down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to uh, look into that and make the adjustment. Nick Westbrook, uh, Mark West Calame, Desmond Patman all in here. At tight end. Tight end's a really tough position because I don't know how I feel about the rankings. I don't know when these players are going to start to go. I, I think... You might see one go in the first round, two at the most, but more so you're probably going to see these guys second, third, fourth uh, as the top tight ends flying off the board. Uh, ratings have been changed quite significantly. Thaddeus Moss, as he was a surprise declaration, has been added. Adam Troutman out of Dayton, kind of like the complete tight end. You got to watch this guy play. Oh, great blocker, good hands. Kind of does it all at tight end. Really, really good from what I've seen thus far. Um... Cheyenne O'Grady was added, or he's been in here for a while. Who was taken out? Grant Calcaterra out of Oklahoma because he retired from football. Uh, at left tackle, we got Makai Becton. Some of the tackle positions have been flipped to create class balancing or what they might do in the NFL, but Makai Becton's in here uh, and has been rated more highly. Josh Jones out of Houston was added. Um... At left guard, Lloyd Cushenberry was brought into the fold. Natani Muti was added as well. Cesar Ruiz was added. And these are some of the top offensive linemen on the interior in this class. Uh, Biadash is still there. Matt Hennessy was moved up quite significantly. Um, some of these guys were even moved down as well. Robert Hunt is in there. I don't think much was done at right guard. More, more left guard. Jedrick Wills was added a little bit earlier, but also moved up quite significantly. Um, Lucas Niang, Isaiah Wilson were all edited. Matthew Part out of Connecticut was added. Ben Barch out of St. John was added. Um, 
So the offensive line is pretty complete. Your Tur Gross Matos is in here. Curtis Weaver was added more recently. Alex Highsmith as well, who I actually like quite a bit. Maybe a new beast out of Charlotte, more so than Larry Ogunjobi, Bradley Nye out of Utah. Jabari Zuniga has to be Jabari Zunga because Zuniga, N-I-G-A, not allowed uh, by the Madden class generator. We'll get to another player in a moment who has kind of that same feel. Um, but all these draft eligible players are real players. Alton Robinson at Hughes, Trayvon Hill out of Miami, all real. Of course, Chase Young, AJ as we know all about. Marlon Davidson is tough. I put him at right end. He's more of a 3 4 4 3 kind of hybrid guy. I view him more as an interior guy, but we'll have to see what he weighs in at the combine and how he performs. I don't think he's an edge guy just from watching him, but he's been listed at edge on a number of different uh, websites and stuff. I just don't see him as an edge, but I have him at right end because 3 4 defensive end. You can play him however you want. Dar- uh, Daryl Taylor, Darrell Taylor was added. Uh, Chauncey Rivers, launch, uh, last chance you guy. Jonathan Garvin's in here. Uh, DJ Wanham out of South Carolina. Defensive tackle, Javon Kinlaw has been edited and moved up quite a bit. Um, Now, this is Ross Blacklock. I guess when I was typing this, I forgot to do the CK. So this is Ross Blacklock. So just like that, that has been edited. Justin Matabuike has been added. Laurel Murchison, Jason Strobridge, uh, Lakai Fotu was added. McTelvin again was added. I mean, there are a lot of changes have been made. Benito Jones, all draft eligible players are real. Robert Landers, Mike Panasiuk, all these guys, draft eligible, real players. Uh, a lot has gone into this. Zach Bond was added uh, out of Wisconsin. Uh, Josh Uche was edited a little bit. Anthony Jennings is in there. Tipa Galley was moved down. Um, but yeah, it, it all looks pretty good. Jordan Brooks um, was changed quite a bit. Patrick Queen was added, one of my favorite players in the draft, actually. I think he's going to be a stud. So um, maybe draft him if you want a good player there. Evan Weaver, Malik Harrison is in here. Um, I don't think I don't think much was changed at inside linebacker though. Caleb on Chase on was edited quite a bit. Jonathan Grenard was added. I know a lot of people are calling him John Grenard, and it's not Greener by the way. It is Grenard, just so you know. Uh, Willie Gay is in here, but he can't be gay because gay is not a phrase that's allowed. So he's Willie. GA dash junior. Um, and yeah, I really wouldn't focus too much on the projected round that changes in that subject. And it's, it's so tough to tell we're in February. So, uh, especially with mid round guys and, and guys that might sneak into the first round, it's tough to actually rate them. Uh, Jeff Okuda has been changed to Jeff Okuda. Now just did that cornerback ratings were changed and, and rankings were changed. Uh, Damon Arnett was added. Noah Igbenogany. It is a tough name to say, but Noah Igbenogany. Uh, Jeff Gladney was changed quite a bit. Uh, AJ Terrell was added. Amik Robertson was added. Uh, another guy that I like quite a bit, Darnay Holmes was added. Dane Jackson, I think, was uh, was moved in as well. Uh, and then at free safety, we made some big changes. Uh, Xavier McKinney is, is a guy who is quite good. Alohi Gilman was added out of Notre Dame. Kayvon Wallace was added. Shaheem Carter was moved down a lot at strong safety. Brought in Antoine Winfield Jr., of course, son of legendary cornerback Antoine Winfield. Kyle Duggar out of Noir Rhine. I was moved over to strong safety, I believe. Antoine Brooks was added. J.R. Reed. A lot of different options. And then, uh, of course, got the great Gene Dangus at punter. Kicker and punter is not... Those are the only positions that just have uh, uh, no actual real players. But that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoy the class. Uh, took a lot of work. It will be updated, so make sure to check for updates. It should say it when you download it, like updated for March or updated for April. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.